Hello, how are you guys doing today? We are here, actually, a game that I actually wanted to play for a hot minute, and it is called uh, Small Land Survival of the Winds. It's a very early, it's a early access, so we won't be expecting a lot from this game, but also, if you're here, if you're here and you're new, sure to subscribe and also to like the video too and uh, I'm always active when it comes to comments even if it's just a hello make sure to comment down below and let us get to this great name gamey because that's how fabulous we are okay oh Uh, I'll be right back <laughs> making my character. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, coming back in. How does my character look? Fortunately, I think he looks cool. The game is very loud. <laughs> I turned down the volume, but, uh, let us see where this goes. Uh, oh, create a world? Um, I'll be right back. Alrighty, let us create our world. I do believe that this is just a single player world. It will be Gamey's world. <laughs> create. And I will meet you guys right back as soon as we load in. I'm hearing a weird noise. Is my game or video lagging? What is this face in front of me? Into Royal Vanguard. Your queen is ill, gravely ill. This is why, as your king, I am asking for your help. Venture into the overland and seek out a cure. Whatever the cost, behold, be brave, remain vigilant. From King, okay, didn't get to read that. Well, okay, okay, the game is very, very laggy. <laughs> Maybe I can change something real quick. Okay, let's go talk to this dude, right? Greetings, I have been tasked with meeting all the vanguards before they leave the burrows. As I have curious information to impart continue. To keep in to keep a keen eye trained for those owl idols fidges owl fidges <laughs> struggle is real. They are scattered throughout the area and provide useful hints and tips to help you survive. Okay. Outside you'll hear you'll find Captain Hardy. He will help you for your first outside the burrows. Thank you. Thank you. Oh Fiji. Hello Overland is I mean the overland is rich with natural resources and food, and some only can be harvested with the correct tool. You can craft different tools, use natural resources. Some resources can be harvested with the specific type of tools, be, so be sure to learn the best tool for the job. Press V to engage in antenna mode. In order for you to, okay. Twig, sprout, and, oh, okay. A sprout, some twigs. Antenna mode. Examine. 
Uh, when you examine an owl fiji, it reveals useful piece of uh, advice. This is info automatically logged to your compendium. Compendium. Dimen. Which you can access at any time in your inventory menu. Press tab to open. Oh, press tab to open. Okay. Oh, I have a club in my hand. I guess we'll put you in the one. Uh, crafting. And then we can... Hold up. Uh, we already have a wooden club. Let me go back, and then, did I miss the fibers that were down here? Oh, I did. There we go. Okay. That should help with, with it a little bit. All the graphics are just, are sent to ultra high for some reason. Now, who knows why. But whatever. Got that over with. And now if you press tab to open up the inventory and select the codox to help keep track of all workstations and items you you can craft at each. You can craft at each. Huh. You can also check the uh, or you can also check on which armor sets that you can which armor sets which you can be crafted. Cool. Tab, okay. Codex. Dude, come on. Well, I could craft armor. This is how I craft the armor, okay. Inventory. Let me see if I can... Okay, so I have crafted a wooden hatch. Now I'll be in my two slot. Now let me go all the way up here. The burrows is an expensive network of underground tunnels and caverns that is home to the small folk okay the tunnels are incredibly impercrate with multiple levels and branching this is taking so fucking long oh i could just skip it and branching paths that stretch of hundreds of yards and directions they are by by glowing crystal lamps and makeshift torches creating warmth inviting inviting atmosphere okay cool hi there food at the root barracks has become pretty stale lately luckily my sister bought me some some fresh insect eggs this morning Okay, what do you have to say? My wife can be a mean... Okay. Well, I'm going to take your uh, insect eggs. Make sure to search out for the owl for useful. Yeah, yeah. I can't just take all these. Oh, 
Oh, look at that big old mushroom. <laughs> Roasted mush mm, mushroom. We are going to the outside world. Wow. Wow, pretty. Crocked. We already got our torch, right? We're actually going to put this on the 8 slot. Just because, why not? And then the codex. We need to get a lot more fiber order for us to craft a set. A lot more sets. Alright, what do you have to say? Health. You can choose or you can lose health during the variety of factors of being attacked by hostiles, extreme temperatures, falling from great height, or being malnourished. Nourished. On the bright side, you can recover health by using health items, keeping yourself nourished or sleeping. That's okay. Uh, stamina. Sprinting, sliding, dodging, attacking, and blocking all consume stamina. Of, of course. Pay attention when it becomes low and manage, manage it carefully. Okay, cool. What do you have to say? Map. Press M to open up the map and see your positions in the overlands. The map will show you the location of other vanguards, your spawn location, your gravestone, and any custom markers you add by selecting a marker that can appear on the compass at the top of your screen. Wow. Let me press M for my map. Wow. Sick. Wait a minute, what do you have to say? Armor. Armor provides protection against different types of damage. It can also keep you warm in cold weather. Some settlers in the overland have expertise to make new sets of armor for you. They provide to give them the requires the requires material school. Greetings, Vanguard. Welcome to the Overland. I am Captain Harnish Manakanabuki. I don't know. Cool. Clearly, I give a fuck, do I? <laughs> but most small small folks simply call me Hurry. Herney. What can I do for you? Um, um, could you craft armor for me, Captain? Sure, Vanguard, but you'll have to bring me all the necessary materials. I would like to craft some... I would like you to craft some armor for me. Oh, well... Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, look at that, a butterfly. That's a giant butterfly. Of course, we're just small until small folk, though. What do you have to say? Water. Stay away from the deep. Small folk can't swim. Upon death, you will respawn at your active bed or spawn location. A tombstone will appear where you died. You must travel back to the reclaim your uh, inventory. Cool. Wait, can I take these from them? Oh, I can. Give me those. So, I already got... Do the, uh... Padded... Breaches. Okay. Well, we need to get more uh apparently the escape button is not working i think we can craft the uh padded ar the uh, other padded armor okay what does this have to say 
day and night tide. Temperature will gently or generally drop at night and rise in the afternoon. Also, some creatures in the overland are nocturnal and will become will only come out at night. So watch out as night creatures are usually more dangerous than daytime counterparts. Build a bed as a new build a bed to set a new spawn point. <laughs> I don't know why I'm struggling with that. And to have a place to sleep. You can only sleep at night. For for you to fall asleep, you must be sheltered and hostile. Okay. Obviously, that makes sense. Oh, it's actually getting into night right now. Can you make me the padded? I did not mean to do that. Hey, can you craft me some armor? Can you make me that? Thank you. Apparently you don't have anything to offer uh, head armor. Cool. Oh, what's this? Weather. Okay, cool. Effigy. Creatures in resistance. There are five... Distinguished weapons, the blunt edge piercing poison and fire. The creature will encounter you in the overlands, uh, have different strengths and weaknesses. Each pay attention to be more effective. Oh, hi there. They seem only aggressive if I attack them. And I'm assuming these guys are friendly, right? Ladybugs, yep. There's no reason for me just to start trouble. <laughs> there really isn't. Dismantling structures. When, you're, when you dismantle a structure, all materials used when it was originally built will be dropped and appeared... As a collectible loot, damage structures will oh can be repaired at no cost. Oh, that is good to know. Oh, I'm assuming those are bows. Use a bow and arrow that hit creatures from afar. This can be particularly effective against flying creatures. To use a bow, you must have to must have bow and arrow equipped to. Draw holding and releasing to shoot an arrow. Different types of bows characteristically are some are more accurate and powerful than others. For maximum strength and accuracy to be sure to fully draw the bow before releasing. Okay. I kind of figure when you're using a bow and arrow. I mean, you would think anyways. Why does this look so weird? Oh, okay. Ooh. Mushroom, mushroom. A blackberry, an insect egg, and another blackberry. What's this? Sacred owls. Small folk believe owls possess a magical powers of and worship them as kindness to have them Divinity idol statues decorate them such as are crafted in their honor. Oh, okay. That's a grasshopper. Man, you're big. Hello there. You're friendly, aren't you? What's in here? Uh, I need a torch. Oh, I can't go in there? Okay. Good to know. Whoa! Are you friendly? You seem friendly. You're big. What kind of ant are you? 
Whoa, what is that? What are you? Are you a stink bug? Where are you? You're friendly, are you? A soil beetle. Ah. I'm assuming beetles in this game just have really good armor. Ah, there's ladybugs over here. <laughs> What's up with you guys? These guys don't have a weakness or anything of such. What does better damage? My hatchet? It does uh, harvest damage. Oh, this is a uh, edge to four to five. And this is a blunt damage. You know what? I'm just going to attack a ladybug. Ah! Ah! Get over here! Get over here! Ah! This is unfair! You can climb walls! I can't do that! What is that over there? Is that a bottle? We can craft a fire, a workbench, a simple bed. Oh, let's actually do foundations. Let's put one here. Can you connect? Yes, you can. Why do I hear a giant bee or something? Why am I getting music? What's going on? Oh. Oh, whoa. You're attack You're attacking the moth, but terribly. Oh. Oh. Oh, you drop stuff. Insect fur? Please don't come over here. I have no beef with you. I have no coral with you. Please go away. There's a door of... There's a matter of a door that we need to take care of. Bam. Just like that. And then interactive. Campfire. Bam. Campfire. Sick. And then... Uh, we need more fiber. A simple bed. We definitely do need a simple bed. Four. What is going on? <laughs> well, I guess I gotta remain sheltered. Oh, I wish I looked at that. <laughs> that would have been a lot more helpful. Huh. You are freezing. Oh, well, I guess I should go back and... Okay, well, first of all, is the storm done with? I guess it is done with. Sick. So... Uh... Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, I think I'm going to actually call it here. So, uh, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment to whatever you want me to, whatever you want to say, honestly. And, uh, uh, yeah, let me know if you want me to play this game more or not. But uh, in the meanwhile, we'll see you in the next episode. We'll see you. Bye.